friends, it's Mrs. Voros. I'm here today to read you a story, and the title of this book is Red Panda's Candy Apples. And as you might probably guess, this story is going to be about a red panda and his candy apples. The author of this book is Ruth Paul. Red Panda is selling candy apples. He made them himself. They are delicious and very sticky. Have you ever had a red apple, candy apples? I have. They are super sticky. Rabbit is his first customer. He gives Red Panda some money. Red Panda counts the coins and puts them in a jar. So is he giving these apples away or is he selling them? That's right, he's selling them for money. But Red Panda is sad to give Rabbit the candy apple. He is not very good at selling things he would like to eat himself. Lick, crackle, crunch. Hedgehog is Red Panda's second customer. He takes a long time to choose which candy apple he wants. Finally, he points to the biggest one. That one is my favorite, says Red Panda, sadly. Red Panda's next customer is Mouse. Mouse buys a small candy apple to share with her family. But the candy apple is bigger than she is. You think that apple would be big enough for her whole family to share? I do. Luckily, Mouse has brought a wheelbarrow. Look at what that wheelbarrow is made of. Can you tell what it is? That's right, it's a teacup. Red Panda's coin jar is filling up. He treats himself to a candy apple to celebrate. Lick, crackle. Crunch. Now there is only one candy apple left. Duckling and Bush Baby both want to buy it. You could share, suggests Red Panda. Do you think they'll want to share? But a candy apple has only one stick. And half a candy apple is no fun. Uh-uh. Looks like they're arguing over that candy apple. What will they do? Duckling and Bush Baby fight over who will get the candy apple. Oh no, the coin jar has fallen over. Bush Baby cries. Duckling feels bad. Red Panda cleans up the coins. You can have it, Duckling says to Bush Baby. 
And that was nice of him. What's this? Sneaky red panda. He has kept another candy apple aside for himself. Red Panda sells duckling and bush baby one candy apple each. Hooray! shouts duckling. Yay! squeaks bush baby. Lick, crackle, crunch. The candy apples are delicious. And the coins are very sticky. How do you think those coins got sticky? from all that candy. The end. So in the beginning of the story, Red Panda was feeling sad that he was selling all of his candy apples because he kind of wanted to eat them. But was he still sad at the end of the story? No. He was glad that he had a jar full of coins and a lot of happy friends. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon.